everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're looking on for the first time welcome to shaman d's kitchen and guys if you like the recipes that i've been sharing with you please give me that thumbs up leave me a comment at the bottom and remember to share subscribe and hit that little bell so you would be notified when all my new videos become available and if you want to see what i will be sharing with you today come along with me and let's have some fun in my kitchen Today I'm going to share with you a recipe for aloo choka mixed with roasted saltfish. And this recipe was requested by Charlie. Charlie, he wants me to share this delicious dish with you. So here I have a piece of saltfish or codfish that is soaking for some time in hot water. My peeled potato and the additional ingredients to bring out that flavor so i'm going to start here by cutting up this into smaller pieces so that it would boil faster and guys if you have any recipe there that you would like me to share with other viewers please leave me a comment at the bottom or if you're not sure of how to prepare any dish and you would like me to assist you i will be more than happy to do that i have the water boiling away for both the alu and the saltfish and this is a very salty piece of um saltfish that i have so i had to wash it out first soak it in hot water I'm going to boil it here and then rinse it again but we do not want to boil it out too much because we need that saltfish taste in the choker the saltfish has been boiling here for just a couple minutes and I'm going to take it down now most of the salt has been boiled out i'm going to pat this take out some of the excess water so it will be easier to get that roasted taste i'm going to pat it for a second time If you have never tasted this, I highly recommend that you taste it. It, ta it goes so well with sada roti or some nice dal and rice. So this is okay here. I'm going to hold this right here to get that nice roasted flavor. I do not have any of those pieces of wire to uh, to rest here so it's okay i can hold it here for a couple of minutes here you have the saltfish already roasted i'm gonna allow this to cool down and then shred it into smaller pieces and while that is cooling down let me check this potato and as you can see the knife went straight through and the potato keep falling out so you know it's nice and soft and it's ready to be mashed up i'm gonna mash this up nicely you can use a fork if you want you can use the potato masher but this is my favorite And while I'm doing this, I have the garlic roasting. And for those of you who follow me would know that when I make my choka, any kind of choka, I always roast my garlic and pepper. So this is finished here now. Set this aside. And I'm going to shred this because it's cooled down now I 
and it's dry and nice because I used the paper towel and dried up most of that water from it. Okay, so here you have it. Nicely mm -hmm. shredded. I'm going to add this right in here. Garlic and pepper. Garlic and hot pepper. And now I'll cut up the onion. And as you know, I love my onion very small in my choker. right in here and now for the last step and what I'm going to do here now is chunky this choker and for those of you who are not sure what this means it means I'm heating up some oil here I'm gonna add some chopped up garlic to give you that distinct taste of what a choker tastes like And I also add a little bit of the onion that I chopped up. Without this, it will be mashed potato. So this has a nice brown color. And goes on top of all the other ingredients. I'm mixing everything here now and as you recall I did not add any salt because of the salt fish and I'm gonna taste this now for the salt and of course the pepper This is perfect. And here you have it, aloo choka with some roasted saltfish together with some nice soft sada roti. I will leave the link to the sada roti in the description box below. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of the evening.